was the guy who told you what to watch and what not to watch. And he also brought an extraordinary understanding of how a film was made. You remember those little mini documentaries he'd make uh, 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 talking to the incredible directors and, uh, and seeing the stars actually at work rather than just uh, being celebrities. Uh, and he brought a whole new understanding of, of film, I think, to, to at least two generations. Yeah, indeed. I mean, uh, the, the, the world of film criticism is uh, certainly a place for, for, for towering intellects, but Barry Norman managed to take the, uh, the premise and, and deliver it to an, to an audience that perhaps only went to the cinema once every few months, but it was his enthusiasm that punched through the screen. That's right, and also he was broadcasting in an age when uh, uh, so many more films were being put on television, so lots of people could uh, come to appreciate the, the whole context in which uh, you know, the films have been made uh, across the decades. And I know that in later life he really began to enjoy watching uh, um, you know, long-form television drama because he could see the skill with which programs like Breaking Bad were made and uh, uh, all, all that sort of genius that he always respected in filmmaking he could see starting to come through in television. Uh, many of us were surprised uh, when he was replaced on the film programme on the BBC in the, in the late 90s. Uh, one imagines Barry Norman himself was, was pretty taken aback by that. Well, he joined Sky, of course. Uh, <laughs> Indeed. I, think he'd want his I was, I was waiting for you to say that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think you'd need to, to, to read his memoirs to get his own, his own take on all of that. But uh, he, he loved all the work that he did. And uh, you know, he was still writing columns for Radio Times until just a couple of weeks ago. Uh, he was a consummate professional until the end. Uh, and in terms of the legacy uh, uh, that Barry Norman leaves behind, we are all rather more film literate than we were perhaps before, but, but in your mind, uh, what was his, his, his single greatest achievement in the world of journalism? I think bringing a fully rounded understanding of, of an art form that we all enjoy but don't always appreciate. And why not? Uh, literary agent Gordon Wise, many thanks for joining us. Thank you. Norman has died aged 83, his family have said. The journalist and former BBC presenter died in his sleep on Friday night. Norman was best known as the host of film on BBC One from 1972 until 1998. The director general of the BBC, Tony Hall, has paid tribute. He said, Barry Norman was a first-class presenter and critic. Film buffs always found his programmes essential viewing. He dominated broadcasting about films for a generation with wit and with great knowledge. He'll be greatly missed and our thoughts are with his family and friends. Well, a short time ago, my colleague Sean Lay spoke to Gordon Wise, who was Barry Norman's literary agent. He'd been living with lung cancer for the last couple of years, so it's been quite a journey, uh, and he'd had some wonderful times, but I think uh, he felt now is the time to go. Um, what do you make of the impact he had on the appreciation of film in this country? Because his career as a film critic, not just on uh, television, although he was kind of, the, the, for my generation, the face of film, uh, at the BBC, but also as a writer, because he, and of course, long after he stopped um, presenting, he was still writing columns for the Radio Times, and long before that, he had been writing very successfully as a newspaper journalist. That's right. Well, I think it was probably that background as a newspaper journalist and, and uh, interviewer and features writer that all came together uh, to make him such a, a gifted film critic. So he could not only appreciate the story of the film, but all the, the talents that had gone into, into, into making the film. Uh, and I think uh, that's what we all remember from those three decades of the, of the film program, that he, he brought you perspectives from every side of the camera. He was... Um kind of meticulous about his uh, attention to detail, wasn't he? I mean, well, the thing that always struck me watching the programme is that he would pick up something really quite small and then he could build almost a thesis about the film and what, was, what the director was trying to achieve and whether or not they'd managed it from just one quite small, what seemed almost uh, a detail that you might not even notice on first view. Well, yes, and of course he was a consummate professional himself, so I think he knew that all those details really mattered and really counted, and I don't think he was trying to catch anybody out, but he, he had a way of, of, of reading something, uh, so uh, you, you really had to, to pay attention to those details to get the, the full meaning of something. And what sort of films did he like just to enjoy? 
he did a, a, a series um, some some years ago uh, uh, in in in, um, in the in the, the one of the male newspapers where he talks about a number of films. Uh, to be honest, I can't remember what his his favourite sure. film yeah. was. I think he had a very broad very, taste. Very he also Catholic loved taste. watching <laughs> new. Um, uh, 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 long form television that's so popular these days. Do you think he felt that film was still holding its own on the in, in at this end of of the twenty at the beginning of the twenty first century in the way it had been, because we're told that people are still going to the cinema in large numbers, but it's so accessible in so many other mediums now. And I wondered whether he was enthusiast as enthusiastic about moving with the times in that regard as as perhaps some younger generations of film. Well, I think are. he knew that film and entertainment was a very broad yeah. church, uh, and and there was excellence to be got in in art house and, and in entertainment, and, and there was uh, there was a lack of excellence sometimes in both. But yes, I, I know that he began watching you know what are called uh, uh, box sets these yeah. days, and he and his family used to be absolutely riveted by them and and and, and pass DVDs amongst each other. And I think he really appreciated those filmmaking qualities that were now being put into long form TV drama. Any personal memory you want to leave us with? Well, probably like you, I, I, I grew up watching him on those film programmes and he, he shaped my entire understanding of film, really. So when I came to represent him about ten years ago, it was an absolute honour to be representing one of the...